All right, so in this video, we're gonna talk about concealment. Now, concealment is a unit's ability to basically hide themselves from the enemy using the terrain that's around them, basically making themselves harder to be hit. It is easy to tell if a unit has the ability to be concealed because if you look, for example, here at our infantry squad, if they've got that icon of a little question mark in their little action bar here, that signifies that they can take a concealment action. So you see our infantry squad does, the SS squad does, but the M4 over here does not. So it could not take a concealment action. Generally speaking, your big units, your tanks, your trucks, stuff like that, they're not going to be able to hide. People, smaller uh, weapon teams, stuff like that, they can hide and make themselves harder targets. Now, the cool part about being concealed is that it gives you a plus two bonus. So that plus two would be added to the defensive bonus of your terrain. So here they're in clear and spotted, so they wouldn't be able to get it. But this number down to the bottom right of the terrain, like we've talked about before, that's your defensive number for the terrain. So it would be added to that. Or if it was an ordnance weapon being fired at you, it would apply a plus two penalty for that ordnance weapon when it comes to attacking the target. Something to keep in mind is that a concealed unit, if it conducts certain actions, it's going to lose its concealment and any unit in its sector would lose that concealment as well. So if they move, fire, melee, assault, do smoke, you know, basically if they stand up and wave around, catch the enemy's attention, they're going to lose that concealment bonus. However, the concealment bonus can only be used in terrain that is degrading or blocking, which remember, that has to do with this I symbol up in the top right of the terrain card. So this is degrading terrain, this is blocking terrain. So a unit that is in clear terrain like this, they cannot use a concealment action. They're automatically going to be spotted because they're just out in the open. So let's switch things around here. So now our infantry squad is in the stone wall terrain instead of clear terrain, which is degrading. So they would be able to play a concealment action. Thing is, when it comes to concealment actions, they aren't played through the play of an action card. They can only be played by a unit action or a discard action using these icons that are located right there above the unit's picture. Now, to conduct a concealment action, it's easy. It's a simple D6 check, and you need to get a six or higher. And I know you're sitting there thinking, going, oh, that's six, that's pretty high. That's a one-off chance with a D6 check to pass. But it is not just that simple because units do have a concealment modifier. It is a tiny little superscript number right there. You see this one actually receives a plus two. So that gets added on top of any leadership modifier they might have as well to their check. So we do a D6 check. This is a five. Normally it wouldn't be a six or greater, so they would fail, but they do get that inherent plus two that they have, which would make this a seven, which means they pass. And to represent it, you simply remove the spotted marker showing that this unit is now concealed. 